Hello there, folks. Bunky Cook here, aka your lonely achievement guide. Coming at you with an achievement guide for one of the lawn mowing simulator DLC achievements, specifically a achievement from the Dino Safari DLC pack, which uh, you can purchase for five dollars if you desire it. Um, so those of you that have been following my other guides through uh, Game Pass. Uh, you won't be able to get this achievement as the DLC contracts, of course, don't appear in the main game. But we're looking to get the Don't Go Into the Long Grass achievement for 65G, which is for completing an overgrown contract on the Raptor Paddock in career mode. And uh, I'm making this video because there is a lot of conflicting information on the internet about how to get this achievement done. Um, to put it simply, you may think that you have to do the Raptor Enclosure contract uh, from the Dino DLC, and that's not true. Uh, any of the four DLC, Dino DLC mowing contracts, uh, when they are overgrown, will completing any of them will get you this achievement. But there's a lot of people online saying that all you need to do is let a contract you know, stay around for a couple of days and then it turns into an overgrown contract. And so I wanted to make a video that, you know, debunked that and explained exactly what you need to do. Now, I tried to record one of these videos already and it went for 25 minutes. And no one wants to hear me talk about this specific achievement for 25 minutes. So I'm going to try to give you, you know, the Cliff Notes version. So what we need to do is get one of the dino mowing contracts to be an overgrown contract. And in order to get an overgrown contract, you need to look at the contract and you can see when you open it up in the upper left hand corner right below historic land druid tour there, it says in capital letters that the contract is overgrown. You can also figure this out sometimes if you've been mowing a lot, if you've done the contract a few times, you, you might notice uh, the, the money received for completing the contract is one and a half times higher usually for an overgrown contract, so you can uh, keep an eye out that way as well. But generally, you're going to go through all the contracts you have available, open them up, and you'll look for the overgrown notice in the upper left-hand corner. The problem we have is that we need to get one of the dino contracts to be overgrown and again <laughs> just letting the contract sit there for a few days does not overgrow a contract so i'm going to go into a little bit of detail here picture uh trying to draw cards out of a 52 card deck of cards um if you need the ace of diamonds you keep drawing cards until the ace of diamonds show up in the game here the contracts that the game chooses that can be thrown into the the three down here that you can pick from each day are pulled from a deck of 52 cards essentially there is a pile a digital pile of contracts that the game pulls from and these three got chosen for us to pick from for our three daily uh uh, choices and of course if you're further along in the game you may have four or five or if you're before this you only have one um, but a as you rank up you have the option to get more contracts which means more uh, chances for an overgrown contract to be picked because an overgrown contract is just like every other type of contract um, and to prove that uh, I wanted to show this uh, career mode off as you can see in the upper right hand corner it is Wednesday the 3rd of March of 2021. For those of you that aren't familiar with the game, the game starts on the 1st of March of 2021. You have two days where the game gives you specific contracts. So on Monday, uh, you have to do an Old Nook Cottage uh, lawn, that beginning lawn. And on Tuesday, uh, there's another loan, which I can't remember the name of, that you are required to mow. Completing both of those contracts will rank you up to Newcomer Rank 2. At Newcomer Rank 2, you unlock the ability to choose from three different contracts. And if you have purchased the DLC 
all of the DLC contracts get added into your digital pile of contract cards to, uh, for the game to pick from. So this is the very first day that we have uh, a choice of three different contracts to pick for the day. And it's also the very first day that any of the DLC contracts can exist. And this is case in point for why the uh, let the contract sit there and it'll become overgrown is a load of nonsense. This is the first day that these contracts can exist and I got an overgrown DLC contract. Now granted, this is not the dino contract specifically, but it doesn't matter. Any overgrown contract can be picked at any time. The problem with this achievement is getting an overgrown contract to show up and then, um, depending on the method you use to do that, having a mower capable of cutting the overgrown dino contract. So that's what this video is about. We're going to go ahead and show you the two different ways that you can try to get the contract to show up, and then I'm going to, uh, you can determine which method you want to use. So the first method involves uh, starting a new career like we have here. Um, as you can see, this is the, uh, I've already explained all that, but this is the third day of our uh, contract. And I'm actually going to switch out to my other uh, career mode here. Um, as you can see, we completed the first two days on this contract. We are technically still on uh, Tuesday, March 2nd. So um, we just finished the Kingsbury House Garden, which is the day, uh, day two contract. The only one you're allowed to do on day two. Um, and what you want to do is do the first two days and get to this post-contract screen, but don't do anything else. The game auto-saves at the end of the contract right at this post-contract screen. And you need that auto-save to be able to uh, uh, hopefully force the dino contract to show up. And I'll explain as we continue here. So make sure you get to this post-contract screen, start your new career, go through the first two days of contracts. It'll take you probably 45 minutes to an hour to get here. And once you get to that this post-contract screen, you can skip forward and you'll see we reach Newcomer Rank 2 and now all of the DLC contracts have been added to the rotation. And once we skip all of that, we get brought to the uh, contract screen for Wednesday, the 3rd of March. And as you can see, we have three separate contracts here. Um, so we have the Herbivore Valley of Dino Safari. We have the Cretaceous Canyon at Dino Safari. And we have the Garden at Miller Brook. Now, I don't believe any of these are overgrown. That one was the only one I thought might be. So that's a litter contract. That's a mowing contract, and that's a mowing contract, and that's not overgrown either. So what we need to do is we need to get one of the four Dino DLC contracts to be an overgrown mow contract for our daily three. And we're going to abuse the autosave that we created. So what you're going to do, and you have to quit out this way in order to preserve the autosave. Um, the other thing is don't do anything else except browse the contracts. Don't go to your garage and make any changes to your vehicle. Don't do your uh, HQ upgrade or anything like that that could prompt another autosave. Just mess around with the contracts and check them. And if you don't get the contract, then do this. Um, we're going to open up the guide and we're going to quit the game. Uh, if you try to quit out through the menu, it autosaves when you do, and you don't want that. You need that autosave after the post-contract screen to be the autosave you have, because that autosave is before the game pulls from the digital pile of daily contracts. So by reloading the game as we are now, and hopping back in, we're back at the post-contract screen. We do have to go through all the unlocking Con of contracts again which is a bit of an annoyance but trust me you don't want to go any further than this and now we have three new contracts as you can see we have a litter contract uh, from the pub garden a litter contract from the Cretaceous Canyon and the Raptor enclosure and so that's how you would get the dino uh, contract overgrown on uh, 
on a new account and I'm gonna I'm not gonna show you the process but I'm gonna go ahead and reload this a few times until we get one just for the sake of completion and I'm back folks it took uh, another two reloads so it took us I think three or four reloads overall to get one of the dino contracts to be overgrown now here's where the problem with this method comes in at this point in your career you do not have a good mower um, you don't have uh, access to loans so you can't apply for a loan to get a better mower we have probably the best mower at this time is this Knight OFS1 but even trying to use that mower is going to take us forever so I want to just show off how long this is probably going to take you to use the night mower to get this overgrown contract done. Now, if you do, it'll probably take you like three to four hours. Uh, I'm just going to skip everything else. It doesn't really matter. I just want to show off trying to drive around using this mower and cutting the grass. So we have seven to eight centimeter cut height. And we're just going to start driving around and cutting. And you can see, even at our slow speed... We're overloading our engine. Just driving around here, we're overloading, which means we can't even drive at our four and a half mile per hour top speed because the grass is so high and our mower is, um, you know, not incapable, but just it's a it's not designed for a contract like this. Um, more than likely, it's going to take you a significant amount of time, two to three hours probably, to use this mower to do one of these contracts. So if you want to do that, that this is the first method to, to trying to get this contract uh, and, and get this achievement. But I, I'm going to go ahead and rejoin you in a second here and show off the second method. Okay, folks, I am back on my main career where I unlocked most of the achievements. Um, and we have already set up the autosave. Um, I have a company with four employees, so there's five of us in total. Uh, I have the Toro 3300 Groundsmaster, which is my opinion, in my opinion, the best mower in the game. And we've created an autosave with all five of the employees of our, um, of our company taking a contract which means that the following week we should have or the following day excuse me we should have five new contracts in the uh, daily choices so what we're going to do is we skip the post contract screen and again make sure you don't do anything that could uh, create an autosave don't change your mower um, don't you know do any of the uh, advertisements or upgrade your your um, upgrade your HQ just go straight into the contract screen if you do accidentally make an autosave all you have to do is uh, and you don't have the dino contract obviously all you have to do is assign your five employees to new contracts and go to the next day and you can try this again um, if you have to you know buy a mower or do whatever you have to do to prep that's fine um, but you want to be in a contract or a career where you've made a ton of money and can afford the best mowers. Because you're going to want a best mower if you watched our first method and saw how long it was going to take us to mow that contract with one of the lower ones. You definitely want one of the better ones for this. So we have five new contracts here. Unfortunately, um, none of them are a DLC contract. And the problem with this second method is we have basically unlocked all of the contracts in the game. Um, so there's probably about 80, 80 or so, if not more, different um, contract cards that the game can pick your five daily choices from, which means it's going to take a lot longer, more than likely, to get one of the dino overgrown contracts to show up at this point in the career. The trade-off is, once you do get it to show up using this autosave method, um, you'll have the mower that's capable of doing it much faster. And as you can see here, we go around, we have, you know, different contracts, but none of them are the Dino DLC. So um, once again, I'm going to keep doing this method until one of the Dino Overgrown contracts shows up, and uh, I will rejoin you when it does. 
And surprisingly, we actually got one right away. Uh, we got the Raptor enclosure uh, here. As you can see, it's an overgrown contract. And all you need to do now is hop in with uh, whatever mower you want. Obviously, I'll use the Grounds Master. And you don't have to worry about the other four if you want. Just make sure that you complete the contract. You can't jump in, mow, and quit out and get the achievement. Uh, you do have to mow the entire lawn. So all you'd need to do now is follow the usual process. Grab your string trimmer. Uh, actually, we have to do a ground check. But you'd grab your, do the ground check, grab your string trimmer, uh, then start mowing everywhere. And with the best mower in the game, it's going to take you significantly less time to try to do one of these than uh, with that night mower we tried in the first method. So uh, either way, whatever one you choose, once you complete the contract and finish it off, you will get the achievement. Um, and I'm sorry. Sorry for the length of this, but I did want to be thorough and explain why uh, some of the information I've seen on the internet is not correct about this. Um, getting an overgrown contract is just a random chance. It has nothing to do with leaving contracts unmowed. So if you have any questions or comments about the information here, reach out to me. I will always do my best to answer them, but if not, uh, I wish you luck getting the achievement, and I will see you guys next time.